Hey guys, in this video we'll be going over how to graph vectors and do vector calculations on the TI-84 plus CE. This is a video in my calculator tutorial series, so be sure to check out other videos on my channel. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, you want to press the button labeled Apps, and that takes you to a screen that looks like this. After that, you will want to use the up arrow because the feature we're interested in is further down the list, so you want to scroll in reverse. So scroll up to the feature that says Psi Tools, and once the cursor is next to it, hit Enter, and you'll be taken to a screen that looks like this, and you're instructed to press any key to continue. So just press any key at all to continue. Afterwards, we're taken to a screen that says Select a Tool. The one we're interested in is option 4, uh, Vector Calculator. You can either scroll down and press enter, or you can just hit number 4 and that takes you directly to the Vector Calculator. Once in the Vector Calculator, you can graph and make calculations with vectors. You can graph vectors by either entering the X and Y components, or by entering uh, the resultant or radius and the theta, and keep in mind that the theta is with respect to the positive x-axis. So let's do a few examples and hopefully that clarifies any questions. Uh, first, uh, let's graph the vector with x component of uh, 10 and a y component of 10. So we're going to press the button under x uh, slash y, which is the y equals button. And now you see that the cursor is uh, flashing right next to the x. So we're going to type in 10 and then we're going to arrow down using the arrow down button to Y and we're going to type in 10 over there also and then press enter and now uh, under view we're going to hit the graph button and that allows us to see the vector drawn out and also the resultant and the theta and once again the theta is with respect to the positive x-axis now let's do another one, but we want to store this vector v1 for future calculations. So press the button under next, which is the trace button, and notice that it says v2 now. So we're plotting another vector. So let's do another one. Uh, this time let's do it with r uh, slash theta. So press the button that says Windows, and now. Uh, the cursor is flashing next to the R. Uh, let's say our R is 15, then arrow down and let's say the theta is uh, 60 degrees, and then enter, and once again hit the button that says graph right under view, and now we can see the X and Y components and the vectors also drawn out. Now you might be wondering what the scale is right here. So let's let's go on to the next uh, picture. So basically if you were to have a really large vector, so let's say like 55 uh, with a Y component of 55, enter, uh, graph, you see that the scale is 4, uh, but the vector drawn here is relatively small and just kind of looks like the one we already had, which had X and Y components of 10. The scale basically is there so it can fit the vector on the window and it lets you know what scale it's using. So that's the purpose of the scale. Now let's actually do some computations. To do uh, any, co any type of computation, hit the button under math. So we're, once again, the graph button. Now we have previous, next, and pick. And make sure that the vector over here is uh, the first vector that you're going to use for calculation. So we're going to go ahead and go pick uh, using the graph button. And now you see that uh, different operations pop up. Addition, subtraction, dot product, cross product, and uh, you can select them using the respective buttons right under the option. So first let's add. So we're going to add to V1 and notice that it's automatically v1 plus v1 but we don't want to add v1 plus v1 we'd want to add 
V1 plus V2. So hit the button under next which is trace and now you see that it says V1 plus V2 and if we go pick we see that uh, the resultant is drawn out and also we're giving the new X components, Y components, the resultant and the angle with respect to the X axis. Similarly you would do subtraction using the same method. Now let's exit the screen and to exit you hit second and mode which has the quit option so second mode that gets you out of that and uh, if you hit second mode again you'd go back to the screen where you can enter uh, X and Y components but let's go to math again using the graph button this time let's do a dot product so hit the button under the dot which is zoom and now you see that the dot pops up and it's doing v1 dot v1 but we want to do v1 dot v2 so go ahead and uh, next hit next and now we have v1 dot v2 and now you can just hit pick and notice that we get a magnitude and uh, as we know that uh, dot products are scalar so it's telling us that the answer is a scalar and it's giving us the magnitude so we know that's correct and once again let's just exit out and exit out of this also uh, let's get math uh, pick let's do cross product this time so this is the cross product sign go underneath hit trace let's do v1 cross v2 pick no v1 cross v uh, v2 so um, hit next and then pick and it tells us that the direction is on the z-axis and the magnitude is 54.904 and we know that uh, the cross product is a vector so it has a direction and a magnitude and we're given those if you need clarification on dot products and cross products I should have videos coming out soon in my calculus 3 series that goes over them I didn't want to clear this video with uh, too much content. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You can also follow my channel on Facebook and post questions there. Check out other videos on my channel and until next time, take care guys.